What we're doing here is we're melting down some beef fat. We had a nice uh, rib roast last night and we decided to take the fat and, and clean it up out of the pot that we boiled it in. And then after it cooled, it solidified. And so we just skimmed the fat off the top of the, the fluids. And now we brought it down here to the fire and we're got it all melted up. So it's just a, almost a, almost a watery consistency again, though it's a little thicker than water. And now as it cools, we're gonna start dipping a uh, cotton wick in it. And we're gonna build on that cotton wick and see if we can't make a, a cool uh, meat scented candle to- Bacon flavor. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're doing and we'll update you as we go along. Good deal. So we are gonna start dipping this thing. The, the, our concoction is getting a little thicker and starting to cool down. We'll put it down here in the snow in a minute, but we tied a uh, pop can tab to the top of it just to give it a little weight and help it get down in the grease. So here we go for our first drill plunge. And I'll use a stick to help move that around. Basically getting some weight onto it. And once those fibers are saturated, we hope they'll straighten out a little bit. Our goal here now is to hopefully make two candles out of one string. That's why we tied the weight on the bottom there. So now we'll just kind of let it cool and then we'll do another layer and we'll just keep on doing it until we have a candle formed. So the process of a candle, I uh, learned part of this as a kid, is that you take it, you dip it, and then you let it set until it cools. And that lets everything solidify. And after the first dip, you dip quickly so that it doesn't melt your, your fat that's already cooled back down. So you're just trying to layer upon layer upon layer. And as you can see, you get close, the first layer is starting to solidify now and starting to form our outside of our candle. So hopefully we can make this work. Okay, so this is our, our third dip. I just wanted to show you how thick it's getting already on this. Obviously we're doing something right. And now we're gonna go back for a fourth dip and hopefully it just starts getting thicker and thicker as we go. And it takes a little bit each dip and letting it cool off a little bit so we're gonna speed up the process and we'll show you like after every dozen dips um, we'll just kind of update you as we go and we don't have a lot of fat so we're end up having to tip our cup to the side to get a good coat he's in a little bit better shape than me I have a lot <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep you updated Basically, we're getting the final couple layers on there, trying to smooth out our candles a little bit. Justin, how many layers do you think we have on there now? Um, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say we're in the 20s. So they're both they're both gonna look like this one. I just have to break this one free of the pop can lid, but we'll see. I mean, everything's there. Um, so All the properties are right on it. We're, we're going to let them cool down now and then we'll cut them off and we'll see, we'll take one and put it on something and see if we can get it to burn. All right, so he's going to melt the bottom on it so it can stick onto the rock. And maybe it will stick and maybe it won't. Here it goes. Good stuff. Nope. 
the fat off of that. It's got quite a bit on there. Still. It has a lot on there. All right. Look at that. We have a tallow candle. It worked. Enough to read by. Enough to keep a very small space warm. I would say that's 100% success, dude. Congratulations. Nice job. Freaking awesome. <laughs> nice job. Heck yeah. All right, so each of these candles were about the same length. Um, I've got this tape measure here. It's about two and a half. Um, the other one was a little bit skinnier at the top, if you remember. This one's pretty thick all the way down. But this candle has been going now for over two hours. So approximately each inch on the candle is about an hour. And it's only, I don't know, three quarters of an inch wide, half inch wide. That's a pretty uh, small candle that really uh, is quite effective. So really happy with the progress of that that we did today. Pretty simple. Um, it is a little bit slimy. I would suggest to wrap it in something. Um, maybe put a couple inside of a balloon or something uh, if you're going to carry them in your bag. But it's a pr pretty great little tool. Yeah, that that much candle is still burning after over two hours. So uh, one thing to note is it doesn't melt like wax. It doesn't just start getting drippy. It uh, it kind of spits and fizzles. And I, it's just the fat that's burning, but the can that we put it on is layered in, in fat. So just note that if you're going to burn fat candles, <laughs> that they, they do spit and sputter and put stuff over, you know, quite a big area because, yeah, anyway. Yeah, it's about a six inch diameter of just splatter, so... Not the cleanest candle, but you also don't have a bunch of wax melted onto something. It actually efficiently uses all the wax, or the I guess it's fat, yeah, but fat. not wax. But anyway, pretty impressive. Very happy with the results. Cool. All right. Good job, Justin. Good night, man. Good night. <laughs> We're done with uh, making our sanitary hygiene uh, <laughs> primitive skills tampons. <laughs> These are made from bear fat and jute twine, <laughs> and they expand, and they're very sanitary. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. So this is Outtakes with Justin and Phil. Um, <laughs> uh, we, we, these, are not, these are not mice hanging up by the tail. No. And they're certainly not sheep balls. No. But they all kind of look similar. We really don't know what they are. <laughs> we know what we are trying to make, and, uh, well... Let's just see if it works.